sometimes what happens is you do the scan and then it it says that it's nothing's there it's fine so sometimes it it's weird like that but most of the time it's it's uh when it says it needs to find something it does okay so it, this is uh, in the process of doing a scan this will take another i don't know 15 20 minutes and uh i'll probably let this go ahead and do the scan so i'm going to pause Okay, it uh, finished scanning, and uh, of course, uh, no immediate threats were found. Um, but if there are threats, uh, which most likely there are, if um, if your computer's running slow, slower than what it was when you first got it, of course, there's other reasons why that could happen as well. But anyway, uh, you'll have a listing here, and there'll be boxes next, you know, right here, like it was. Remember the when we downloaded the updates? It was kind of the same deal. So you just want to right click and say select all objects and then uh, and then it'll select all the objects and then you, there'll be a scroll bar here. You want to make sure it's not here now because I don't, I don't have any, you know, it'll only be a scroll bar if there's more than what this area allows. Um, you scroll down and want to make sure that everything's checked. Once uh, you make sure everything's checked, then up here you're going to see uh, a button. This will be highlighted actually uh, because you'll, since there's nothing to fix, it's not highlighted. But if there's stuff to fix, it'll be highlighted. It'll say fix selected problems. So what you do is you click on that. And uh, and I say, are you sure? Then you say yes, and you and you go ahead and remove the items. Uh, and again, if it finds stuff that's in the process of running, then it's going to say uh, we can't delete it now. Do you mind if we reboot? If we uh, run a scan after reboot, you say yes. Then you restart your computer. All right. And so that's pretty much it for SpyBot. Uh, pretty pretty easy once you do it a couple times. Um, and then the last one uh, is Spyware Blaster. And uh, let's just go back up. Let's see if we downloaded it. I don't think we did. No. Okay, I was in the process of downloading. Okay, Spyware Blaster. Again, we go to download.com, download.com, and then we go down here. I just typed in Spyware Blaster in a search field up here, and then down here, the results, Spyware Blaster. Okay, this is just telling download now. Spyware Blaster 3.5.1, save file. I'll save it to the desktop. And let's see right here. It's almost done. Minimize this. And we'll open this baby up. Click OK. All right, next. I accept next, next. The default location is fine. Put a shortcut on the desktop. That's fine. Click install. Fairly quick install. This is a very quick program to use. Run Spyware Blaster. Click finish. So again, this program is the one that uh, it protects you, but it doesn't scan. So all you need to do each week is, or each every other week or week or whatever, um, but at least twice a month, is uh, just run the update. So I'll show you how to do that in a second. So basically you just want to click next. It'll count down next. You want to make, they want to make sure you read that stuff. So the first thing you do is click download latest protection updates. And this is what it'll, this is what it'll, uh, what it'll look like when you, like let's say in, you know, in two weeks you want to do it again. This is what it'll, it'll look like when you double click on the icon to, to start it. Now do, uh, download latest updates, check for updates, it'll do its thing, it'll look for updates, and it should find some, and if, it'll tell you if it doesn't. But it do, is, of course it's downloading, you can see it's downloading. And uh, it's pretty quick to do that. Then after that, we'll go to uh, protection and then uh, enable all protection so that it'll make sure that it tells all the programs that it protects about the new, you know, it'll let it know about the new things that it found. So, um, but this is also a very popular item. Uh, let's see how many downloads. 13 million six. So it, it's a very popular software too. Um, all right, still down the updates. And uh, after this, we'll get into, here we go. All right, enable your protection is, uh, it's not, uh, it's not it's not highlighted, so you can't click on it. But I usually just go to protection anyway, and I click on enable all protection. I just do that just to make sure, just to make sure everything's uh, protected. So it'll uh, it'll say zero things, all things. This is Firefox. This is Internet Explorer, and then this is just uh, restricted sites. So we'll just finish this up, and after this, we have uh, another program that will get rid of the temporary files. All right, Mozilla Firefox. So that's done. That's a quick thing to do. Okay, now we're going to go up and we're going to get C Cleaner. Some people call it CC Cleaner, but it's actually C Cleaner. So C Cleaner. C 
Seek Lunar. Again, this is 3 million downloads, so it's semi popular. Uh, download. Well, I guess, you know, 3 million, it's still quite popular, I mean, but compared to Adware. Um, it's not. Okay, so uh, this is downloading, and once this downloads, we will go ahead and install it. Click Open. Or you can, up here is the, the file. If you guys are in an Explorer, you won't see this downloads thing. You can't click open. So you just go to the go to your desktop, and then you'll see CC setup. OK, click OK. Click OK for English. Next. I agree. Location's fine. Next. All right, add desktop shortcut. That's fine. Start menu, fine. Add one CC cleaner to the recycle bin. I mean, you can put that if you want. It doesn't matter. Add open CC cleaner, option recycle bin. Uh, that's fine. I'm not check for updates. Yes, and then I don't really care for the Yahoo toolbar. Uh, I don't like any toolbars actually. So if you want the Yahoo toolbar, you can certainly keep that. If not, then uncheck it. Click install and click finish. And right here you see now it's installed. So we'll double click on it to open it up, and you'll see it gives a temporary in files, gets rid of cookies, history, recently typed URLs, which is website addresses in your browser, uh, last download location. Windows Explorer system, and then applications. It finds applications that it has that has temporary files, and they'll get rid of those as well. So, uh, and then one thing to check is the old prefetch data. All right, so we will go after we do that. We will go uh, run cleaner. This will permanently delete files from your system. Click OK, and as you can see, it's going ahead and doing its thing, deleting temporary files. Must close Firefox. Okay, it needs Firefox to close before it can do its thing to Firefox. So we'll close Firefox. All instances of Firefox, including the downloads window. Alrighty, we'll try it again. Now it can do its thing. As you can see, 770 megabytes was removed. So that's, uh, you know, it's a fair amount. That's almost a gigabyte, so it's, uh, that's good. Okay, so we will go up to, uh, I don't use Internet Explorer really, I usually use uh, Firefox. So I'm going to open up Internet Explorer and I'll show you, this is Internet Explorer 7, and it's always best to, I would suggest updating because it's always good to update your, uh, your Windows updates. I'll show you how to do that in a second. So you go to Tools, Internet Options. This is to make sure that uh, if you're using Internet Explorer, that it'll delete the uh, temporary Internet files automatically without you having to do that all the time. So just go to, so again, let's just do that. You go to Tools, Internet Options, and then you click on Advanced, and you go down, scroll down until you see Empty Temporary Internet File Folder when browser is closed. I already have that checked, but check it and click OK. And what you can also do, well, we already did it, but what we could also do is, you know, you go to Tools Internet Options, then right here to Browsing History, you can say Delete, and then you can say Delete All. It'll delete passwords, form data, history, cookies, and temporary internet files. You can just click All, but we we just did that, so that's fine. Okay, uh, that is C Cleaner, and that pretty much uh, that pretty much did it. And remember, if you like the video, go ahead and click on subscribe to support the site. And also, don't forget to rate the video. Even if it's a 3 or 4, it still helps. Okay, thanks. And thanks for watching how to speed up your computer by removing spyware part 3. And simply click on the link below the video to watch part 4.